16th and Latimer. My father had his, his surgical offices there, and, and uh, we lived there. And I used to walk over the, over the Walnut Tree Bridge every day. I did it all through college days. Yeah, the, the, you don't you don't really remember or notice that, but uh, the the only thing that you do know is the inside of the building, the things that they had there, the the machinery that they had that, that you and and your your generation all uh, knew the answers, and all you had to do was do this. We had to look them up in the library. We had to go to the library and get the books, and then we would have to trace the qu quotations that are in the books, books to uh, to another book. We we had a lot of a lot of more work to do than they they did thereafter or now. Well, I wanted to go. I wanted to be a lawyer all my life, and when I got into high school, I made up my mind that I wanted to go to law. My father wanted me to be a doctor, but I didn't want it. And I went to Penn Law because it was the best one. I don't know whether I can remember the first day. The first day we, we all came in and met each other. And uh, and they, they, they took us into classes and we, we we met our first class teacher, as far as I can remember. Yeah, I told you just now that he told you, but he did it with everybody. You look the person on the left, and you look at the person on your right, and one of you won't be here next year. But he did that to everybody. I remember the, the teacher that, that, that uh, taught us contracts. He was very serious and strict and tall, and. I could see him sitting back on his desk uh, with his foot, foot up there and talking. And he was a very good teacher. Uh, Keedy, I think his name was Keedy. I, I'd like to know if it was. But I was, after my first year, year in law school, the vacation, I. Uh, uh, went to stay with a friend of mine in Florence, Italy, for three months. And during that time, we traveled around. And uh, when we got to Venice, we made a date. We met, picked up a couple of college girls, and we were making a date to go out to on a gondola ride when somebody comes up and says, Robinson. <coughs> What are you doing here? And that was that was the professor, Keedy. And I told him, I said, I'm here on a vacation. He said, come have a drink with me, which I did. My friend was traveling with me also. And uh, it was r right after we had, we had taken our examinations, but we didn't know the results. It was too soon. But he was one of our professors that had the, the results. And I said to him, can you tell me whether I passed? He said, wait a minute. He went upstairs to his room, came downstairs again. He said, no, I don't have that, that section. That's when I got worried. He didn't want to tell me. <laughs> a few, there was a few. Uh, there was one woman in our class who was a medical doctor, and she decided she wanted to also study law. So as a medical doctor, she came to the law school, and she, she went through the courses. I don't remember her name. We formed what were called digests when we first entered the law school. Everybody got together two, three, or four people, men, would get together to do all their studying. And we went all through three years of law school that way. 
we had we studied at different uh, different people's homes, and uh, uh, t we brought the notes home from class, and uh, we studied them when we got uh, here. It turned out that the four of us who digested together uh, went through three years of law school. And about two years after we got out of law school, we became partners, the four of us. Now, I really don't, uh, there didn't seem to be any rivalry when we were in law school. After you got out, of course, you, you were always a uh, rivalry again. But we all seemed to get along. We had a, a number of clubs. When you go to law school, they have clubs and you join them. And uh, we joined one of the Jewish clubs, and uh, there was also Gentile clubs too. And we became friendly and worked with all those boys. We were happy to say that in our club, we had the first honor man and the second honor man. The second honor man was very bright and he got out of law school and he became a lawyer for President, come on, the one who was shot. Kennedy? Kennedy. He became the, he became the uh, attorney for Kennedy and um, he was riding in a plane with one of the assistants there at the time that Kennedy got shot. He was a very nice man too, bright, bright. All those people were bright. Was there anyone else in your class that was famous? Went into politics or anything like that, did you remember? Not really. There's, there's uh, one buddy, Buddy Siegel, whose brother was um, uh, he, he wrote for the university. He he had, in fact, they have a a uh, uh, degree that they give out, or a, a paper that they they get, have. And it's called the Bernard J. Siegel Memorial, something like that. They have that every year. They have that examination. Mm -hmm. I don't know how interesting any of this is. It's hard enough for me to recall, but. Wasn't someone in your class lieutenant governor? What? Didn't someone in your class become lieutenant governor of Pennsylvania? So what in Pennsylvania? The lieutenant governor of Pennsylvania. Somebody. Oh. I don't remember who. No, we had judges graduated from the class, but I don't recall any, uh, any, any, none of the governors. Okay. Anything else? Marry a rich girl. <laughs>